Hello, this is Kevin Miller. I'm here to show the software that uh, was written for the uh, Network Security Spring 2014 Montclair State University. Um, let me just get right into it. Okay, I'm going to start the. Uh, this is the software that uh, was written in C Sharp. Okay, and it beeps saying that the uh, ADSB server is not started. I'm going to start that. ADSB Sharp. And there's a server. We have a set for uh, port 47806. I'm going to start that. And we see the frames coming in. That's a pretty good number. Come back over here, press a key. Okay, the server's connected. Now it's waiting for the radar. Radar's right here. All right, I'm going to check the uh, radar. Okay, 47805 is the port that we need. That's good. Other start all client, and right here it says uh, it's connected. And we go back over to our software, and now this is waiting for MATLAB. I have MATLAB started already because it takes so long to start. So I'm just over that and run it. Okay, and MATLAB started, and you see the data is streaming in already. Um, let's go back over to our software. Put the MATLAB over here. Let me explain these windows. Uh, this window here shows all the data coming from ADSB Sharp. Uh, it's also being forwarded over to the uh, radar application there. All right. And you can see the data coming in here. Uh, and you see the planes that are, have been detected. Um, this list has all the planes that are detected, but not every plane is displayed. You click on a plane and you can get the information over here. Um, it's a Korean airplane, got the latitude, longitude, speed, the heading, um, and so forth. All right, let's go back over here. Um, this, this window here shows the DF-17 messages. Those are the only ones I'm attempting to decode at this time. Uh, the ones that are decodable show up over here. Uh, this window does not scroll. This window is a sorted list of aircraft. Um, and as you can see, it, these aircraft are also in the other one, like this one. 71 C2554, if we go back over here, uh, that should be in this list somewhere. Yeah, there it is, 71 C254. Okay. And um, on the, in this, um, this shows that it's um, diamond link format 17, and this is the type code 11 or 12. Here's the um, uh, the altitude, latitude, and longitude. Um, some of these aren't decoding properly. I'm not sure why yet. Uh, the ones that are yellow uh, in the, are the last one that was updated. For every plane that can be decoded, I make a spoof plane, and that's down here. And I, I generate like a random aircraft ID. Right. And uh, and every time uh, a plane, a spoof plane is updated, it makes a spoof message, ADSB message, and this message goes over to the radar and to MATLAB. So if we look at the uh, MATLAB here, you can you'll see that every time this updates, this updates too. Uh, this is the the uh, pulse position modulation uh, for the message. Uh, if you refer to the uh, report, you can see that uh, this is the preamble, and here's the data. Okay. The problem that I'm having, though, is that these messages are not showing up on the radar. So all the messages, all the, all my planes start with AA. You see, there's no AA planes here. Um, I did a Wireshark analysis of the packets, they appear to be constructed properly. Do not know at this time why the planes do not show up. But uh, we did make some significant progress, and uh, it shows that um, without too much trouble, it's easy to spoof ADSB packages. Packets, excuse me, ADSB packets. So these messages from, uh, this, uh, from MATLAB, this pulse, pulse position modulation, they can be sent out um, through a, a USB port to a, um, a universal 
software defined radio peripheral, which would actually make the radio signals out of it, um, and then sent to a, a linear amplifier and an antenna to, to transmit them uh, into the air and uh, start causing havoc. Okay, and that's about it. Thank you very much.